you. Just a quick comment to rebound on what has been presented. Um, maybe you noticed that uh, at its last international meeting, ICANN board uh, announced uh, the creation of a new committee, which is called Public Participation Committee. And I have the honor of chairing that. So of course, I just wanted to mention that we will be very attentive to your recommendations and we will try to improve uh, the public participation in ICANN naturally. Thank you. Thank you, Jean-Jacques. On the principle, you can never keep a good RIR person down. Raoul? <laughs> um, this is a very short comment. Uh, the, there was uh, something that was mentioned in many, many times, and uh, probably for some people it could be appreciated as a disagreement, and I, I would like to clarify that, that this is the, the relationship between ICANN and the U.S. government. I think that uh, ICANN has received uh, uh, broad support to become an independent, uh, independent organization and to finish the, the, the relationship with the U.S. government. I think that uh, most of us in the, uh, here agree that uh, a single government should not have a an, an special role in the internal governance. And sometimes when it is uh, uh, said in the public forums, it is presented as, as it should be, as it would be a, a point of uh, strong disagreements, and I think that it, it is a, 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 it has a broad support idea I, that it, yeah. it, this is something that has to change. There's, I think that's right. I mean, there's broad support for the principle of that. It's, there's, there's no consensus about what should happen instead. I'm going to ask Emily to, uh, to sum up for us briefly, and then hand you back to our, our chair for closing remarks. Emily. Thank you very much, Chris, for uh, the job of summing up this afternoon's debate, uh, which is quite challenging. I must say, as a, a, a listener to the debate, I am quite amazed and heartened by the quality of it and the different points of view that were being put across by various people. It was interesting how the... the how it shifted and changed and almost transformed at one stage. Um, we discussed there were some not about enhanced cooperation, very strong but about the role of, of the IGF itself, not just no with the IGF, but also with the current way that things are organized, and particularly um, as ICANN effectively being the elephant in the room. Others expressed the view that if you want something out of something, if you want to get something out, you have to put something in. And, that, and those sort of themes were expressed uh, it, both in, 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 in the context of the IGF and how it might be improved, but also in the context of ICANN. Again, we heard different views of what enhanced cooperation might mean. Is, in fact, the IGF, as one speaker put it, an example of enhanced cooperation at regional and national levels? Is it about, as another person said, bringing people together across organizational and stakeholder boundaries? Um, is it about sharing good practice as a development goal, as a development objective? Um, and one person mentioned very strongly that back in the Tunis days, enhanced cooperation was never supposed to be about creating new institutions. So again, a plethora of different interpretations and I really felt for the speaker who asked for you know can we have a be better you know more clearly defined term please you know that the ambiguity is certainly being played out there was a strong focus on ICANN its evolution the role of the GAC again uh, expressions of frustration from some quarters practical suggestions for improvements from others uh, the importance, the emphasis on participation, and uh, you know the the people who are doing the real heavy lifting, both within the GAC and other sections of the community. The importance of reforming working methods. Now there was a whole theme about expressions of desire that one government, the U.S. government, should step out of uh, its role, its current role in authorizing root server changes. And while several people expressed that, um, and, and one speaker
said, and some new accountability mechanisms will need to be put in place. I don't think I heard very many concrete proposals of what those accountability methods would be, and perhaps that's something for us to take forward. So that's what I've taken out of uh, this afternoon's discussion. Thank you, Chris.